Hello and welcome to the Healing Stream Reflection. The title for today's post is Pinpoint Your Greatest Goals. Beloved, the wise refuse to consider too many goals. Few know what they really want to do. That is why they change the entire plan for the day when a friend drops by the house. Their goals were not clear. They really were not sold on their own agenda for that day. In this broadcast or presentation, I want to suggest seven facts about your dream goals about your dream and goals number one nobody can determine your own goals for you you must decide what generates joy in your own heart secondly different people have different goals what is important to me may be totally unimportant to another. When they get in my presence, the difference emerges. Personally, I have a plan for every day of my life, every moment of my life. When I am tired or need a change, I stop the plan and do something different for recreation for a couple of hours. But I am very positive about what I want to do with my life. However, I have some friends who do not have any drive or passion to accomplish anything. Their goal is to pay their bills for the month. So after they got paid, or they get paid, and they want to have fun, they drop by my office in the church. They want to talk. You see, they do not really respect the dreams of others. My goal is not point out to them. In fact, they usually want to preach me a sermon on how I need to relax. I am relaxed. I am happy. I do not need them in my life for relaxation. Sometimes these friends are a distraction. That is why you must pinpoint your own goals. Then thirdly, do not depend on others to inspire you regarding your dreams. Most will distract you. They do not value what you are pursuing. They do not celebrate what you are pursuing. You must name it for what it really is and move on with your life. Then the fourth point is you must determine what your goals are financial, spiritual, or physical. Others cannot borrow your goals for themselves. You may have wonderful goals for those you love, but if they do not have the same dream for themselves, it is a waste of your time and energy. Some years ago, I tried to set up a credit company, organization, to help my church members to upgrade their financial security. I was so excited. Then I brought in some experts to help us navigate our way. Beloved, 
what happened was that though I was paying this expense, but the members themselves, the members themselves, they simply did not have any personal goals for themselves. The whole credit program, including the investment that I put in, was wasted. Beloved, you simply cannot make others pursue worthwhile dreams for themselves. Then the fifth point is avoid intimate relationships with people who disrupt your dreams. You can minister to them. You can encourage them. You can speak words that will strengthen and bless them. But do not draw them close in or burden or the burden will become too cumbersome and impossible for you to carry. Then six, put pictures of your goals and dreams on your walls, in your office, in your secret place, and on your refrigerator. If you have a dream of losing weight, put pictures in front of you that inspire and excite you. Do you have a dream of owning your own home? Place a picture of it on the bulletin board at your home. Beloved, what you keep looking at the most will influence your conversation and your faith. Then the last but not the least, write out your dream on paper. Remember that Prophet Abakuk received an instruction from God. And God spoke and said, Write a vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. Beloved, a thought is not a plan, a wish. It's not a plan. A possibility is not a plan. True champions in this time and energy to develop a clear cut written goal and dream. They plan for their life. Always pinpoint your goals. May the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords bless you. And I thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.